Today we are decluttering my entire apartment and I'm excited because it's been a while since I've gone through every single room in my apartment and done a declutter. The reason I am deciding to do this is because in just a couple of days there's a huge community garage sale over at my parents house and I thought I would take this opportunity to go through my home, declutter, and hopefully sell some stuff on Saturday, which is just two days away. Not sure if I can get the entire house done today, but we're gonna go through room by room and see what we can find. So I'm in my bedroom right now, and actually I don't really have anything to declutter from here. You guys might have seen my recent video where I declutter my entire wardrobe. So a lot of that stuff was already donated and gone. So I don't have any clothes to sell really. I do have a couple of things that were in my closet of things that I have already been putting to the side to donate. But since this garage sale is coming up, maybe someone will buy it. And if not, it's going to be donated. So this is the bag here of... Things that I started putting aside to declutter, so I'll show you really quick. We've got this pillow pet of Toothless the Dragon. I've got this Disney tote bag. I've got my Beanie Babies. Also, you guys might have seen that in my sentimental decluttering video. I have a gold basket that I had in my kitchen that I no longer use anymore. I got a scarf and a couple of accessories over there and that's what I have so far. This bag here was also in the closet and all there is in here are a bunch of perler beads and other beads down there and I'm sure some kids would like to buy this hopefully on Saturday so that's also going to be in my sell pile. This is my desk and workspace area. It's obviously very cluttered right now and crowded, but I do want to focus inside the drawers because there's a few things in there that I know I can for sure get rid of. Everything else that's on here I actually use. I just need to put it away. If we open this up, we've got quite a few things in here that I don't need anymore. I was holding on to this coupon because I thought I was going to need it for something off of Chewy, but I think it's already expired and no longer good. This I don't think expires, so we're going to keep that. I have a bunch of these game cards for Dave and Busters. I don't think I need this many though, so we're going to toss these out. This is a Target gift card that I already added the balance to my Target wallet, so this is trash. I found this old flip phone the other day when I was decluttering at my parents' house and I was going to show you guys that this was an old phone of mine back in the day. Just so crazy how phones used to look before iPhones and all those things. The only things I'm decluttering from in here are this calendar. It is a 2023 calendar with my dog in it. She's right here She's looking so adorable, but I'm getting rid of this because she was actually supposed to be in one of the main photos in the calendar, but they had an issue with the quality of the photo, so they just put a little photo of her here. So it's not the same. I don't think it counts. Bunch of lovely doggies on here, but my baby isn't in it so i think i'm gonna toss this out and then maybe hopefully the next calendar she will make it on here 
just like these other doggies but she did make it on the cover so that's cute next thing is this calligraphy book i tried to practice some calligraphy in it as you can see here and it's very difficult i need a lot more practice but i went through a few of these pages and didn't quite finish this whole book but maybe somebody else can finish it in my buy nothing group see if they're interested moving on to the living room so i know for a fact there are some board games i want to get rid of maybe there's some things in these drawers that can go ignore the rug we still haven't put it down yet over here my boyfriend likes to keep random things in here so i personally would love to move this somewhere else but we'll see in there i have books in here my boyfriend keeps his stuff so we'll see so i keep a bunch of napkins in here because we eat dinner here and it's just easy to access these napkins while we're eating here so that's that's why they're there so this drawer is filled with random things we have a game colored pencils crayons sunglasses napkins so let's see this is a keep this we can declutter these are going to be put to the side because they're not mine more crayons trash keep 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 Keep. I just need to find somewhere else to put this and under the coffee table we keep board games photo albums and record vinyls so everything is basically a keep except for these board games this one we've played for a while so we can get rid of that this one actually i think i'm gonna keep this one maybe play it a couple more times and then let it go and then this one we recently borrowed from a neighbor so we have yet to play it we're gonna keep this one This Valentine's Day DVD is going as well as all these children's book. I was holding them on for my nephew, but it's <laughs> it's going to be a while since he can start reading these. I think the ages for these are like 4 through 8 and he's barely 2, so I think I'm going to pass these along to other kids that can actually read this. Next, we're going to go through this kind of keep a bunch of random things in here it's got our alcohol in this one our glasses here random stuff down there and then more random stuff down here so let's see what we can find i know for a fact i want to get rid of this so i got this from a trip to catalina island with my family for one of my birthdays years ago and I've been holding on to it because it's sentimental, but I have tons of pictures of that trip anyway, so I'm going to let this go finally. Um, I'm gonna see if anybody will want to buy this diffuser. Nothing's wrong with it, I just am more of a candle person than a diffuser person, so that's gonna go. So we're in the bathroom now 
gonna go through everything in here as well as my medicine cabinet and we'll see what we can find in here our medicine cabinet is pretty messy it also needs to be cleaned it's been a while since i've gotten in there and wiped things down so we're just going to take everything down right now and then go through everything and see what we want to keep this is under the sink got toilet paper and here i have extra makeup probably some stuff i can take from there this is some hand soap that i put in a mason jar that's new we're gonna keep that these are all my hair supplies we're gonna keep those this is everything from the bathroom that we're getting rid of some old makeup a scalp brush that's very gross and some skincare items i'm also going to throw out these two mats in my bathroom they're both very old and it's just time to get new ones and replace them so hopefully we can do that sometime this weekend because i want to get rid of these asap we have made it to the kitchen and what we're gonna do is go through every single cabinet let's see where is the cabinet up there <laughs> all the cabinets in the kitchen up down below we're gonna go through them all and see what we find. We'll start up in the left up here. So we just have a lot of condiments and spices in here. Not really much to declutter, so that's good. We actually want to declutter this cutting board. We've had it for a very long time, but it's uh, getting a little old and it's just time for a new one we love the size of this so i'm gonna measure this so we can find something similar of this size i know for a fact this can go it's a very pretty cactus with a little side dish i've used it for chips and dip and things like that but it's very big and very heavy it takes up a lot of space and i rarely use it so hopefully somebody else can use this maybe this spring or summer these cups can go i mainly like to use these for smoothies but it's not necessary for me to have them and i only got them because i thought they were cool they change colors if you put any sort of liquid in there so that's why i got them but we did use this a lot i just don't need them anymore i have plenty of other cups where i can put my smoothies in so so here's the pile so far i added a few more things i grabbed a couple of books that i'm ready to let go this hat that i wore for halloween a few years ago and there are the dvds and a diffuser in that bag so all these bags right here are going to be donated or sold we're also decluttering this vacuum because it doesn't work anymore like i've said before you will be missed i'm also debating whether or not i want to donate this as well it's this very beautiful painting i love the frame and the photo just is so simple i have no idea where it is or what it means but there's something about this painting that I just am drawn to and love, but I'm also kind of ready for new artwork in here and a different style. So that's why I'm thinking of letting it go. So this is a maybe, we'll see. Here are some of the final kitchen things that I'm decluttering in this decluttering video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. As you can see, I'm pretty minimal now and I don't have huge declutters anymore. Definitely not compared to what I was decluttering about five years ago. My declutters used to be a lot bigger than this, but I still managed to find things to declutter. We finally put the rug down and we love it. It gives it a whole different vibe in here and I'm just so happy with it. If you'd like more decluttering help, then check out my ebook if you haven't yet. 
I have a 34 page ebook that will take you step by step on how to declutter your entire home and life. You'll discover practical tips and strategies to help you identify the clutter in your home and figure out how to let go of it. If you do decide to purchase it, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and I'll see you in the next video.